Right, a walk back to the campsite now by this little pathway by the river. <coughs> I think I might have um, done it yesterday, I don't know, I can't remember. Well, for the last couple of hours we've had no rain. Well, most of the afternoon we've had no rain. I went out at half past two. It's now half past six. So I've been gone four hours. I was out this morning from about half eleven, actually, till half one. Oh, there's a swan up saying hello before the evening comes. Look. Hello, Swanny. Yeah, look at that great big swan. Hello. Hiya. You on your own? <sighs> Two ducks watching there, look. They get on well. See, two ducks. Watching the swan pruning. Oh! I don't know, maybe the other one's on a nest or something. Making a funny noise. Alright, we'll carry on. It is like quite a lot of swamp like land that's been allowed to stay like it. It's good, isn't it? Wildness. Well, I don't know what I'm having for dinner. I've had an ice cream on the way out, on the way back. Um, I've had a crunchy. I've, I never eat properly when I'm away. I do have things like chips sometimes and I have Chinese. And uh, I haven't eaten any oranges. I'm getting this cold sore probably because I haven't had any vitamin C. I've been naughty lately with my oranges. I used to take them religiously. I've got to get back to that again because cold sores, I still believe oranges have that healing property. I still believe it. Skateboarders over there, the other side of the river, it's keeps the boys and girls happy. Kids are the same everywhere, aren't they? There's a more villagey feel though to um, St. Neots, I think, than well, Northampton's much bigger, isn't it? But they both have lots of history connected to Simon St. Les as well. Yeah, I know what I did yesterday. I've, I veered off this path and went up there, didn't I? Platform 19. It's all spongy. I'm making the most of my last evening here. I'm not saying I'll never come back here. I'm not saying that. It's very peaceful. I just wish I could have found Tan. I didn't go out of my way to find him because I thought I did give him my email once. I do feel a bit sad about that, really, that I haven't. But there again, what's the point after all these years? You know, as an old friend of yours. Mum's that's it really, so he probably isn't really interested, is he? <sighs> Let's go back on this way now. <sighs> yeah, because once I get back to the van that'll be it then for pictures and videos for this part of the trip. 
Tomorrow I'm heading straight for Dulham because I know the church should be open for a service. Not necessarily, because if there's only one vicar, they have to take in turns now. Um, I'm really desperate to get inside. Uh, it's been two occasions now when I haven't, so it's, going, it's quite a few years now since I've been out of view inside yet. It was shut once and it was being shut another time for being repaired. So, I'm hoping, I want to do that first really, then I want to head for Burwell, see if I can get in that campsite for two nights. If not, I'm going to have to think about what else I'm going to do for the night. <sighs> I don't really want to go too far away. Uh, West Stow is a campsite. But it's like moving further away from where I really want to be. Which is around the Burwell area. I mean, if they had a campsite at Dalham, it would be nice. But they won't. These are really posh places, you know, where my ancestors lived. <laughs> they really are. A lot of people haven't heard of them because they're very quick, keep quiet. They're protecting their Englishness. Yeah, so here we are. This little walk. I feel sad, you know, because, I mean, Helen and I, I came and stayed with her here. We used to walk, but I have no memory apart from a little tiny patches here and there, the market square and a little bit where we used to walk back <sighs> so it's 45 years ago it's so hard to try and remember detail but this is a gorgeous evening, I've got to be quiet now I'm back on the campsite oh, it's beautiful though isn't it it's a pity they haven't got any seats Further up. There's a boat coming up. Quick, get over the bridge and see it go by. Little birds are over there. On the site. What's that bird? There's Alberta. Let's have a look, walk up to the end of here. one. You're on your own. Okay.
<laughs> Sweet and day. Well, this is the camp site that I'm staying on next to this lovely river where people row and when there's a group of them rowing the coxswain has a drum I heard it the other I wonder what it was it's really loud and he beats this drum and they have to do their movements with the oar to the drum and this is just a little if you've got a dog you can go for a walk here look I'm just doing a bit of walking because um basically the weather is awful it's, uh, it's all right if you've got if you uh, you've got plenty of warm dry clothes but um as for photography it's not very good really it's very gray um, but I've been doing a lot of buildings and inside churches and that so it hasn't been that bad but here we are look there's the river there's the campsite Alberta's right over the other side and there's a church St Mary's in St uh, Neots there it is I've been inside that one they're all called St Mary's by the way St Mary the Virgin and I got one in, I got one a minute ago on this camera facing that way and that was um, the Eaton Sock one, which is where I located the grave of Sidney Thomas Toady and I met the historian on my first day here. So that was very rewarding indeed. Um, it's not the same walking when you know it could pour down or, you know, it's, I don't know what it is really, but there's some boats and there's some, um, what do you call them, barges, things like that up here. So I thought I'd just walk a little way. You can walk this way to the church and to a Tesco's Express. Um, it's not advised to do it much later than this. Because obviously it's isolated. Um, I don't want to get robbed of my stuff. But at the same time, I want to be able to get out and view stuff, you know. So I'm only, I'm only going to go a little bit further. So it's the evening, the birds are singing. There's some barges here. Moored up along. These are what people live in. Um, you know, they've got their homes here. Actually, it's not far from where I was the other day, where a big bridge is. I passed that. Unless it's a different one, of course. It could be a different one. They probably all look alike, don't they? Remembering that not far up here, there's the castle. The castle at Eaton Sock. Right, there's someone coming. Hold on. Right, what I'm going to do, because I'm nearly at the big bridge, not far from the castle, I'm going to do my walk round. It's too early to shut yourself in a van for two, over 12 hours. I've already done a huge amount of walking, by the way. Um, not so much when I got to... Um, Crowland, the other side of Petersburg. I didn't do a lot of walking there. I did a lot of photography though. And uh, there's the bridge I was telling you about. Now, there is a bloke lurking. Oh, he's got a dog. You always feel a bit safer if they've got a dog for some reason. Um, not necessarily a good idea, man. But there are witnesses. Look. So uh, you can walk 
back along that way or you can do the bridge. Or I can just walk back. Yeah, on a nice evening you can walk under that bridge and you can get to a, a pub and then go across another bridge. Right, I just thought I'd do this other little video to join up to show you that I've walked from my campsite and uh, I'm going to walk back. I've decided there's no point going all the way over there. I've done that the other day. I'm just, just, I'm just going to walk back. Get the view going backwards. Um, yeah. I could follow that other path, but it looks a bit bumpy. There is another path there, look. Dog walking path. Yeah, well, let's do this one. Yeah, we don't have to go up on the bridge again. Yeah, imagine if this was blue sky and sunny now. Um, it's going to change, you know, after Saturday, and it's going to be all sunny and warm after my holiday's finished. I've got a big mission tomorrow, which I am a bit nervous about, because I did get temporarily lost for up to an hour today on the way back. I thought I was fine on the way there to Crowland. I got lost on the ring road getting out of Petersburg, and then I got lost again on the way out of, believe it or not, Huntington, because I went there on the train yesterday so I didn't have to think about driving you know so there was a little bit of anxiety um, and then um, what happened next yeah so obviously this big mission to Northampton is quite a something I've got to do because of Simon St Liz the castle and all the history and everything I've really got to go there and it's easier for me to go from where I'm camped here and back than from Somerset for the day you know so I'm gonna have to be brave I'm normally good at getting there but not so good at getting back I will worry about that tomorrow over and out for a minute All right here's the rowers coming beating of the drum. There we are, look. The Cambridge Royals.
There's the rose. They do beat a drum, but just didn't do it for long. Could be because they didn't want to annoy the campers. I don't know. I wonder what the hell it was first. Well, they've gone now. It's a shame. 